Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign is the Kingdom of David. So we've got the uh, fairly sizable army of the Shabanid Shadam up there. That's a surprisingly large number of troops. 10,000 troops from this little tiny double, maybe triple duchy. And then this fairly sizable army here coming from the, uh, the Saram Sahid Empire. But if this battle goes well, which I'm hoping that it does, um... We'll be all right. We've got reinforcements from our army arriving on the 14th, and this will be here. It's going to be like, what is that going to be? 11, 12,000 on 17 for the first few days, and then there's another 8,000 coming over soon. I mean, I, obviously we don't want to lose this fight, but uh, we'll see. So they have no leader in the center. That's good for me. Um, on my side, we killed 44 troops on theirs versus our 27 uh, numbers look pretty good favorable on all sides and they've got no leaders so hopefully we choose some good tactics their available tactics are uh, not very interesting at all I don't know charge on undefended flank pretty unlikely I've always felt like the uh, combat system in CQ2 is unnecessarily complex and obtuse but uh, it is what it is so we're gonna be losing I mean the fact that we're not losing men in any flank relative to theirs, while we have fewer troops, is a great sign. Because we've got the reinforcements coming tomorrow. Now we're back up to 17 on 17. They're piling in. And when we finally do get to the melee phase, I think we're going to see good stuff happen here. We've got more reinforcements coming from us on the 25th. One more week to go. Meanwhile, there's a small contingent maintaining the siege. Using charge tactic. No bonuses on either side. Um, they're losing 108 now to our 34. 3 to 1 in the center. We're still killing more on the left. Our morale seems to be taking some serious hits. Is this guy, like, good at morale damage or something? Morale defense is good. Heavy foot troops. We're now losing 200 men a day over there. Yikes. Well, let's just, you know, keep on waiting. We gotta wait for the reinforcements to arrive and bolster the morale. And there goes the center. Horse back. Just got uh, wrecked. We just killed, like, 1,200 troops in one day. And now our guy in the center is flanking. We should be seeing a lot of a lot of death on their side. Our left flank did fall. There goes that siege there. Good job, Mr. Man. That might actually have determined the war there. It's gonna be very costly as far as uh unit death. Like we're gonna we, we did lose a lot of men here. But we got 28.6 war score. We captured some guy without a face. And uh, we lost in total 6,600 men. Killed two to one. I actually think we might, <laughs> might lose more men to this attrition tick in a moment. Okay, so if we're at 68 war score now, and we're about to get another battle, I don't think we need to do this siege here. Somebody has embraced our culture, cool. The uh, supply limit here is very weak, so I'm kind of concerned about sending this many men in, but... The thing about Levy, it's, it's so different from EU4. In EU4, if you... If you, like... Are, are really bad at planning your attrition and your routes and stuff, then running out of manpower can set you back for years. But with Levy, it just recovers so fast, and it's automatic. It doesn't cost you money, it just takes a little bit of time, and then you get all your Levy back. So it's not a big deal to, to lose quite a few troops to attrition. So supply here is 7k. Let's keep... Save. Keep those 7k there. Spread it like that. Let's grab... Let's see, Tariku is not a siege guy. I need a siege guy. The name. You need to stay here, sir. Okay, well, that would be another sizable army. How much are we pursuing right now? Of the 16,624 men, only 5,500 are left. But if we end up fighting another 17 stack with 9,700, that's not going to work out. Now this is a situation where I wouldn't mind having the boats raised, because it'd be a whole lot faster. We could avoid attrition. If I could just pop them on the boats real quick. Are you actually immediately trying to engage me in Basra? Wow. 20th. Oh, this attrition check is going to be really painful. If I let it happen.
Okay, so they're he still heading there on the 23rd. We can reinforce by the 28th, so for a few days... Looks like we might do this fight, or... Okay, now they're looking like they're marching in a different direction, but they're not actually. So two of them are still marching to Basra. About 12,000 men altogether. And they'll be there on the 23rd. So let's go to the 22nd, and then reanalyze. You still in there? Yes. Okay, let's make sure we got leaders in charge then. We'll put, uh... And a guy who's a desert expert. Nice. You are actually pretty weak. As far as stats go. Lightfoot leader? Sure, we'll take that guy. Um, the auto balance could be a little bit better there. Uh, let's see. You know, I'm going to feel like I made a mistake if I don't at least hire the... Uh, I don't really need two siege leaders. Let me get rid of that one. If I don't hire the organizer and take advantage of uh, movement speed when I can, it was uh, administrator. We've got a small amount of movement speed. I need the bishop. Give me the bishop! Bishop movement speed. 13.5% whole movement speed. Saves just like a day. But it might make all the difference in the world. You never know. Now, why they're not actually reinforcing this battle, I don't know. But, um... Uh, this battle right here will probably end up determining the war, then. We have murdered somebody. My commander has been cornered and slain, unfortunately. Okay, uh... What's gonna be faster here? Sieging down another province with high attrition or chasing their army? I think we chase their army. One more battle will probably do it, and then we can peace out. We won't suffer any attrition after the battle because we will have already conquered this this duchy, making it our territory, meaning that we'll have much higher supply limits. So hopefully we don't suffer an attrition tick before the battle. And hopefully we get enough war score. Ah, could have been a lot better. Well, my plan didn't really work there, did it? Ah, darn slow fever. I'm not going to get a ticking war score, and I don't really want to chase this army too much farther. Ah, good. Fortunately, most of it is still heading back to Basra. Let's, um, grab our organizer again for a second. He apparently also just picked up Desert Expert. Very quick to the... Very quick study there. I'm surprised to see that we're not suffering more attrition ticks. There's the attrition tick. We certainly did not lose 3,000 troops in that battle, so... Nope, that would be the monthly attrition of 13%. Or... Yeah, painful. Very painful. I'm going to pull one of these armies off. And we're just going to hope that the siege can fall pretty quickly here. I'm a little concerned right now. That's a lot of people who have joined this. This guy does have 26,000 troops. Hopefully it takes them a good year or two to march over here. Um, it'll take them at least one year. Especially because they can't use boats to get the whole way. You know, they've got to actually march for the majority of it. Because they, they can't get their boats through that, that canal. How are we looking at? 6.6 .6 every 12 days. Ah, crap. See, I, I'm so used to using my calculator, and if I if I press my calculator button, it tabs me out. I'm not used to that. A6.6 .6 .6 divided by... What was it? 6.6? A6.6 .6? .6 divided by 6.6. .6. We're looking at, like, 15 ticks. Ah. I'm gonna do all kinds of weird stuff now. I can't do that anymore! No! My calculator! It's gone! Well, here's the thing. How easily can I get another 13 war score from battles? We had one really good battle, but we're looking at lots of little battles here. I'm thinking we should just do the assault. I need to end this war so I can focus on the other war. I need to release and re-raise. I need time to let the levy replenish. It'll replenish faster if we can just end this war and stand down for a couple, six months or so while we wait for the other troops to arrive. We'll get everyone here, and we're going to go just take, take the losses from this assault. And we're going to... 
wait six days, power through the next one as well. And then even though he's got every reason in the world to keep this war going with all of his allies, all these kings on his side, he's going to have to bend the knee and give us the damn duchy, you loser. We'll stand on everything except for the retinue, which has apparently been mostly obliterated. It was 10,000 at the start of the war, mind you. And uh, now we're going to grant out the subholdings. And if we're allowed to, we'll just hold on to this territory. I don't really want to um, really dole it out just yet. Yeah, we can fit it all. Perfect. Cool. We'll just hold on onto it for a moment. Personal levies, uh, about half strength. Uh, retinue or the, the vassal levies at a third strength. Um, and we're still facing the Caliph here who is going to... He's going to cause some issues. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's not going to be uh, gonna be a good situation here for a little while. But we won our Holy War. We're probably threatening, if I had to guess. 31.7% threat, as per normal. We are getting a ticking war score because we control every holding in Arabia. Let's make sure that we continue to control, control the Kingdom of Arabia. Uh, there's going to be no du jour change here. This is part of the Kingdom of Arabia, so basically the only land that I own that's in Arabia is that province. And then these down here, but that's going to be the dangerous one. For them, it'll be the easiest one for them to take. Although there are 2,000 troops protecting it. In addition to the gar- well, no, not in addition to. 2,000 troops, including the garrison. Alright, well, let's just win our, uh, win the Jihad. We've been making quite a bit of money. I'm assuming that the hospital finished a while back. Oh my god, 2750. Jesus! That's some serious disease resistance, though. I did not mean to raise the levy. Uh, let's see. 46% resistance to disease. Wow. And that does stack pretty well. If we keep building it up, it's going to be pretty significant. Alright, I want to build the better of these. Hmm. I'm going to say that the monarch points, the equivalent of the monarch points, the tech points, are going to be more valuable than the technology spread rate right now because we're not actually spreading much technology to here. Um, the spread rate only affects that secondary thing. Like... We get 10.5% town infrastructure. It would affect... Yeah, it would, okay. So we would get 25%. It'd be like having an extra... I don't know. Quarter of a spy master, effectively. But just having more raw more, more, more raw technology points will let me buy the technology that I want. We'll play on speed 4 while we wait for the country to recover a little bit before we uh, do stuff. Kingdom of David. The kingdom of... The kingdom of David is growing. Some of our initial holdings are starting to join the Kingdom of David. Again, all of that's going to end up doing for us is just make it so that we actually have a... Uh, it's going to make it so that we end up with better levy, liege levy, from anyone who exists inside the Kingdom of David. But it also means that now they are allowed to vote. And that's why we're seeing people who are voting for somebody other than my preferred heir. Granted, I have most of the land still, so I should still be in a very good position to, uh, to control the elective succession of the kingdom, but... For now, let's just take care of this with the uh, the retinue. The ratio is so high that even if we have the crappiest of types of infantry, or retinue rather, it's still gonna go just fine. We'll experience almost no losses. Can't let him get a hold of this, this is part of the kingdom of Arabia. Hopefully we make it there in time. We did, very good. And this is a situation where the light infantry are actually pretty good. If you can beat them and then basically skip the melee phase, then these these light infantry do great. Because the only phase you get is either the skirmish phase or the pursuit phase. In both cases, uh, this light infantry are fine. They're good at that. So, Medical Academy has now been built. Next up, we need 600 and 
19 gold. This one requires a pharmacology... Phar pharmacology laboratory, yes. Okay, well that one's next then. It's actually kind of cheap too, relative to the others. So 620. Well, we're, we're almost there. I haven't moved my Chancellor in a while, I should probably take care of that. Probably working on somebody who doesn't need it anymore. Okay, strongest person in our realm hates me. 13 opinion, wow. Benning versus Infidels plus 40, I was your mentor. Dude, you're not gonna get Socotra, okay? Well, actually, never mind, you can have it now. The only reason I wasn't giving it to you before is because this guy was my, uh... Was my siege leader, but he's... he dead. So here, sure, you can have that stupid Scotra province now. And now you have every reason to like me, plus 48. I said rather that you just die. Imprisoned, side of claimant, cannibal, well yeah, but still. Let's see, if you weren't imprisoned right now, then we would be much higher. You'd, you'd like me just fine. Let's go ahead and ransom him. Or should we read him poetry? Changes his opinion of me, so no, I'm not, I'm not gonna read him bad poetry, I'm just gonna ransom him. Besides, I want to, uh, start that next building, that next hospital building. Oh my god, he actually did beat me. Wow, okay, so the light troops are, uh, we, we had some bad tactics or something there. We weren't actually able to to get their morale low enough that we could skip the melee phase, and he, uh, he was able to take advantage of our really, really crappy unit composition to do some bad stuff there. Let's mix in some, some troops to try to protect against that now. Doesn't have enough troops to do his siege. Okay, how's the retinue or the, the levy looking now? It's at full size again. See, do you see how cr incredibly fast the retinue or the levy from your vassals comes back? It's crazy. So we're going to raise up all vassals and we're going to raise up all boats as well. And then we're going to pay close attention to where they were all raised. Kind of nice if you could get a few more boats, sir. Ah, that's great. Actually, we don't have to worry about the, uh, the Socotra troops being on that island anymore. Get everyone together, that'll give us about 20,000 troops. We still haven't raised our own personal levy because it hasn't recovered nearly as fast. But for now, we have an ample army to deal with whatever these guys have got going on. And then when the actual primary army arrives from whatever Caleb thing is, there they come. They're starting to come in now. I got 25, 20, 30, 30,000 men coming in, suffering crazy attrition. So, formal declaration of war, the Caliph, now the Badshah of the Arabian Empire, has declared his own war. Excuse me? So, wait, hold on. What, what's going on here? It's the Holy War for Kerman. I'm confused. You live where now? Okay, so this guy has declared... Oh, it's the Saramsahid dynasty. They're trying to, uh, to turn around and attack me back now. Great. Yeah, that's right. Truces are one way in CK2, so... This is a war for the, uh, the... Duchy of Kerman. What? I'm confused now. It's up here. Why did it take me down there? Okay, so you want the Duchy of Kerman, which I only have like two provinces in. What a silly thing to declare over. Fair enough. I mean, okay. 
It's entirely possible that we will need to raise up our personal levy now. Just to be able to fight these guys. But one war at a time is probably going to be the right way to go. Go to the 28th. Get that other, other army over there. Good job with the, uh, the treatment there, sir. Okay, I'm assuming that these armies have gotten where they need to be. Okay. Bring all of you guys over to here. You can just march down that way for now. You can march over there as well. Personal levy's still at half strength. You're reinforcing. We're not going to fight that army for now. I need to get the entire thing together before we worry about that. Unfortunately, a big chunk of my army... Can we get away in time? July 23rd, you're there on the 20th. We can get this way on the 20th. It's a job for the organizer. There we go. So we're out by the 19th. They're there on the 20th. We don't have enough boats to pick everyone up. That's the only reason there's an issue in the first place. Let's start marching to the next province over and see if we can get some more troops in here. It's the point where we can actually contest that thing. I want to keep the ticking war score working on this one. Where almost the entirety of our war score has come from so far. Battle of Sana'a. That battle cost me five. We want them to suffer attrition and we want to not... Um... Not lose any important battles. If they siege down any holdings at all, then they're going to have the, the ability to to reinforce. Alright, that is almost the entire army. Except for my own personal levy on the boats. That is mountains. Yeah, I think the best course of action here is going to be to get the, uh, the ticking war score going. Keep that going. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to pick off the reinforcement line. Body Willful, Playful. Use some more military men right about now. Okay, interesting. So, the petted... Whatever this is, they've... They've split up. All right, October the 26th. I think we dock up here in Kithiri. Get our morale back up to full. Grab the other boats, dock up there as well. Uh, let's see, all together here I've got 6... 20, 22. I need like 240, probably, maybe 250 ships here. So let's see if we can pull... like 50 of these ships out. We'll potentially go pick up our personal levy. And if these 67 join, then that means I can pull another 60-ish. And still have enough to pick up that navy. Or sorry, pick up that army. Yeah, I think I did the math right there. Apparently I may gain scurvy. I have the scurvy. That that was such a short trip, and I already have scurvy? Seriously? How how has this happened already? Got a game man. We got a game man at the front. Ooh, that attrition's much higher than I expected. Um Well, we're going to have to take one of these fights. I 
They are now assaulting. Are they gonna burn down my damn trade post again? Is that their plan? They, they, they seem to just absolutely hate when I have trade posts. Happens all the time. Alright, I'd really like to get this army merged up. I'd like to hire my own rev my own army back soon as well, but I want to let it recover as fast as possible. And I need to re get this territory back. I keep thinking about Jazara. She was the best of wives. Without her, I do I do so struggle to be a king. What happened to my wife? Did she literally like just die? I didn't even realize she was dead. Well then, um, We've got a brawny woman with lover's pox. She looks adorable. Let's, uh, let's marry this genius. How long has my wife been dead? She died... November of 969. <laughs> Took me three months to realize my wife was dead? Very nice. Oh gosh, okay, so that's an actual epidemic. Epidemic thing. Epidemic, word being. All right, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to wait till these idiots will get out of our mountains. Either that, or I could just like. Wealth, me fifth, and they've got excellent supply there. Well, I could pin that army down with ha a half morale army from the the boats, but I'd rather not. Problem is they're not suffering attrition anymore. All right, I'm gonna take a break here. Next episode, we're gonna deal with this uh, this whole thing. I, I'm not, I'm still not worried. We've got reinforcement advantage. We've got a huge distance between us, and the only reason that they've got any war score at all right now is because they just assaulted these provinces. Without that, we'd be at like 30 something on the on the jihad. And of course, winning the jihad is gonna be fantastic for the uh, the moral authority of the Jewish faith. So, all right, cool. I'm gonna take a break here. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.